Hello my dear guests. Today I want to show you different ways how we can get query params from the URL. Depending on your case, you can use static or dynamic method. I personally use static like 80% of the time. So let's look into our use case. So we have this amazing application and what we want to do is to get this age from the URL. Also, I've created a button that will uh, randomly generate our query params. So as you can see, it changes. It's to show you the difference between static and dynamic method. In our code, I have only button that will generate as random query params. And this is how the method look like. So we navigate to our customer with uh, random query params. So first, what we need to do is uh, import our activated root service. So we will type private root, activated root. Now we can use getter to get our query params. So we'll type public get, we'll say customer age, and we will return this root snapshot and here you have two options to use query params map or query params. It's better to use query params map because query params are deprecated and it's not preferable way. So we are using query params map and let's say get and let's pass h. The last thing that we need to do is actually to show on our page. So we'll type h1 and customer h. Let's look. So as you can see, it's the same. So when I'm changing query params, it also changes like customer age. The second approach is to use variable. So we will type public age. It will be string or null. And in our constructor, we can say this age equals, and I will just copy it this one. Now let's show in our component HTML file. Let's type h1 h. And let's see the difference. On first load it's the same, but when I change query params, the getter changes, but our variable doesn't because it only initiates once in constructor. We can change that. In our ng on init, we can type this root query params map and it's actually an observable so we can actually subscribe to it. Yeah, yeah. And here we'll have data and we will type this h equals to data get h. Let's check. Now when we change, it also changes. And the last thing that I want to add is query params map is actually case sensitive. So if I type here h and here also we'll type h, what you will see there will be no data because it's case sensitive and it's null. And that's it. And remember to give yourself small presents. You totally deserve it. Have a great day. Bye.